Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today we're going to be ranking the Premier League team of the seasons. Um, you probably see on your screen here, well I know you can, um, uh, all the Premier League team of the season, including Objective, Bamford and Rodri, they're in there somewhere. Um, they're in no particular order on this tier maker thing that I've just uh, made now. I've got Goat, Insane, Good Value, Decent and Not Great. Now, it's going to be a weird one because like, someone could be decent but but good value, like, it, it, I don't know, I didn't really know what to choose, but I've gone for that. I've also done it on the community, community team of season, there's a playlist on my channel up in the iCard, um, and yeah, we've got them on here if we want to see the prices and look, have a little look, and then obviously Bamford and Rodrigo, or, uh, is it Rodrigo or Rodri? I don't know, I never know, because on the back of his shirt, I'm pretty sure it's Rodrigo, but yeah, anyway, I think we just start off, um, I'll just pick, um, well, they're in like, literally, you can, they just... They come like as they are. Um, I guess we'll mix them up a bit. I don't really don't think you guys care to be fair. Um, anyway, Gundogan is what I just landed on first. So um, yeah, we'll start with Gundogan. Who um, I've had obviously I've had a look at these. Gundogan is coming in at he's on the bench here, 136k. And if you look at his stats in game, he looks like an absolute beast. And for 137k, you probably see where I'm going with this one. Um, if you put a shadow on him, if we have a look now. A shadow on Gundogan, absolutely, that's a tank of a card there. 93 pace, 93, uh, sorry, acceleration, sprint speed. Um, defending gets a nice boost. The physicals aren't great, but um, obviously you could put an anchor if you're playing him like CDM or something, wherever anchor is, there it is. Um, yeah, even anchor, like, not as much pace, but in my opinion, Gundogan has to go into good value because he's not insane, there's better players, but... For 137k, there's not a lot of better players, so I think he has to go there. And next up is Mr. Patrick Bamford, obviously an objective. Now, base stats, he looks like he's going to be good, but he has a lot of things lacking. First of all, 3-star, three 3-star three is quite bad at this stage of the game, uh, if you're honest. 6-foot-1 um, can be good, but it's not usually ideal. And then we've got high-high, which also isn't that good. So unfortunately, just looking down the left side here doesn't really go for him a lot and then acceleration is low sprint speed is high but the acceleration is like a weird balance there shooting is class let's be fair that's that's lights out there passing is quite bad short passing is good vision is all right but long passing is bad so the other stats there curves all right actually dribbling is good but agility and balance which is probably why you know he's not going to be that great in game if i'm honest stamina 99 head and accuracy 99 he's good fodder but unfortunately, he is going to have to go into not great. In terms of team of the seasons, he isn't that good. And I know a lot of Leeds fans, including Nick2018, wouldn't like to, to hear that. But they probably can understand like why he's probably one of the worst in the Prem Tots, if not the worst. Obviously, he's free though. So if you want to do him as objectives, happy days. Um, up next, Edison, the only keeper. Um, I think, I, I, I don't know what to do with this one. Obviously, he's going to be good. But he's 108k for a keeper. Maybe you don't want to spend that. But if you have the coins, maybe you can. Um, he will be good. Um, I use his 89 aim form. And it is good. So I think I'm going to put in decent. Because, I don't know. Is it good value? Keepers are all the same. And I, f I feel like Nick Pope's 84 aim form could do the same as Edison. But I don't know. I haven't used him. Um, yeah. Anyway, next up is Bruno Fernandes. Um, obviously, the second most expensive um, after Rashford so um, yeah this is a big card and I think it's obvious where he's going to go if we take a look at his in games they are incredible um, you just uh, obviously the worst stats are defending physical but you could you could literally if you want to play him centre mid CDM uh, if you want to play him high up the pitch you don't need the sentinel but if you do put a sentinel on him what on earth are those stats there guys with a four star four star high high so probably centre mid's the best and if you were playing centre mid somewhere like Something like a shadow would probably be the best if you're going to play him centre mid, box to box, and those stats are insane. I don't think we need to look at Bruno anymore. He's definitely going in goat. Like if you pack him and tradable or tradable, you've got to use him because he's going to be so good in your team. Um, next up is Son, someone who I really, really want to get. I want to try him out because this five star, four star, I feel like he could be really good. High high, which is a bit annoying. You'd want a uh, high medium. Just so he doesn't come back. But obviously you can set stay, stay forward or whatever. Um, great pace. Insane shooting. Those shooting stats are incredible. Uh, good enough passing. It's, it's, uh, vision's good. And short pass is good. Long passing is bad. Curve's good. 
and crossing is good. So if you did, did want to play him on the wing, so I just slipped off my desk there. Um, agility is 94, so that's fine. Balance is a little bit low, but the rest of the uh, dribbling is amazing. I think, uh, oh, I don't know, is he insane or is he goat? Um, this year, he's not talked about enough. I'm going to put him insane because those stats look incredible. Um, yeah, next up is Harry Kane. I've just had a look there. 600k for Harry Kane. Um, not as much as I thought he'd be, and obviously there's a few reasons why. First of all, three star skills is a letdown. It's not not ideal. Then we've got this 82 um, agility, 83 balance, and obviously the acceleration is low. He's not the quickest, and he isn't going to feel like 88 pace. He'll probably feel a bit less. Let's be fair. And then passing's brilliant. Shooting's insane. Probably the best shooter in the league. And then um, apart from the agility and balance, his dribbling is good. Uh, well, really, really good actually. And then physicals brilliant as well as head and accuracy. Um, I'm going to put him in insane because he is going to be feel good, but he's not going to be goat status because he hasn't got the pace and the agility, unfortunately. Which is annoying. It has to come down to that. Like someone like Kane should be one of the best players in the game, but he's not. We know he isn't going to be. Cancelo is up next, the right back in the Prem team this season. Um, 380k, he looks like an absolute god, doesn't he? Right, if you play a 3-5-2 or a 5-3-2, the right mid or right wing back slot in that, he's going to fit it so well because he can attack. Like finishing's not great, but the rest of it, like passing and dribbling for a right back, I think it's I it might be the best in the game. Um, he's got medium defensive, high attacking, so yeah, definitely suited more to a right mid or right uh, wing back but can obviously play right back for 380k I do think that is really good value but even better value so I'm going to check him in insane because I think he might be the best uh, right back in the game haven't used him obviously but um, yeah could be could be one of the best right backs in the game definitely um, next up was Mason Mount Mason Mount's on the bench here 320k for him he looks He's an interesting one. He does look very good, and I can't see why he's almost this cheap. He looks good, bar the three star skills. Obviously, the balance is 88, but I think that's fine. 96 acceleration, only 86 sprint speed is a bit dodgy. Uh, like he's going to be rapid and then slow down, um, which is which is weird. Well, he'll get to his 86 pace uh, quickly, pretty much. Um, shooting is really really good, inside the box and outside the box. Um, passing is obviously amazing. Even the long passing like it's, it's good enough. And then 99 stamina, he's going to last the whole game. I think Mason Mount's got to go into good value because centre mids from England, I don't think there's that many that will like contest that pretty much. Um, yeah, good value, got to be in there. I think he'll be a really, really good player. Uh, after him is Ruben Diaz. Um, Ruben Diaz is a weird one. Usually the Prem defenders have a lot more pace than both Fafana and Diaz, but I think because they don't, like, it's brought the level down, which is fine, because 83 pace is obviously still a lot, um, and then shooting and passing are kind of irrelevant, apart from 96 and 96, um, short pass, long pass, which is obviously amazing for a centre-back, which is brilliant, and then we've got the agility and balance for a centre-back is really high, and then, um, yeah, I think, if you look at those, there's, you almost don't even have to apply a chem style to that, if we have basic on him, um, Basic's actually very good on him, but I'd probably go for an anchor. Um, maybe even a shadow, just because you want to get the pace as high as possible. I think he's got to go in insane, because he's probably... I just realised I downloaded the card of the French flag, it's supposed to have Portuguese. Um, he's got to be in insane, just because you ain't going to get many set better centre-backs than that for 385k as well. So, um, yeah. De Bruyne up next, one who had a team of the year and was... You know, he's had better cards, but people complained because obviously he had the better team of the year last year. Um, but this card is still absolutely insane. Four star skills, five star weak foot, high high. So another box to box. Not as, as good as, uh, um, what's his face, Bruno Fernandes. But I think you can't go wrong with this, can you really? Um, could play CDM if you put a shadow on him. Could play centre mid with shadow or any attacking any chem star you can play centre mid with. Um, I just think that's that that is a that's a deadly card. Look at that with the shadow on. Literally, he's got. You don't really need to touch your shooting, passing, dribbling for playing centre mid. If you, you could get a bit more pace with the shadow, and then more defending as well. I do think he's got to go and goat. Um, it's pretty unrivaled for him and Bruno Fernandes in the Premier League. 
in terms of midfielders. And then after him is Rashford, the most expensive one. Is he worth it? I don't know. I haven't got 2.7 mil to spend on Rashford, but five-star skills and four-star weak foot. Everyone knows how OP all of these cards are here. Literally, his 85 card could, at a push, still be used in weekend league in the start squad or something. It really could. So, um, Rashford, there isn't much to say. Look at that. The shooting is insane. Pace is almost maxed out. We're missing one acceleration. Um, agility, 95. Balance is a bit low, but I think just he's just got that factor of like he is overpowered and he has to go in insane doesn't he he literally does um yeah been speaking for ages let's try and speed up on the last few here Rodri um he's all right uh, I've had a little look at him pace is not brilliant but for a CDM it could be all right um I think I feel like he could be a better center back to be fair um he's he's quite tall and I don't know if you want that in the midfield he's gonna be very very clunky with 81 agility 83 balance I'm going to chuck him in at decent. He's free, so it's decent, but it does cost a lot of time to get him. Um, yeah, next up, Fafana, 245k. A bit like like a worse Ruben Diaz, but for 240k, you get a French Premier League centre-back with good enough dribbling for a centre-back and really good passing. I've not even noticed that. 99 short pass and long pass. And then, obviously, really good, nice all-round defending physicality. Um, I think Fafana has to go into good value because i think a french really good links and obviously the prem and then yeah next up is salah uh 1.1 mil at the moment 1.3 on playstation only three star week for obviously everyone knows about that but because he's his left foot is so deadly it might you know make up for that the dribbling is probably one of the best in the league if not the game literally um he's got insane dribbling R maxed out pace um i think salah has to go into I don't know, goat or insane. Three star weak foot. Does that keep him does that get him into the goat? I think it does because he's literally got the max pace and dribbling. Um yeah, Salah is going into our GOAT category. And then we've got three left. Luke Shaw, the left back of the Prem team of the season. Let's get him in. Let's have a little look. 273k. Three star skills, two star weak foot is okay because it's a defender. Gets away with it. Um yeah, medium, medium, a bit weird, but I think it should be all right with your custom tactics. And then we've got very all-around dribbling, defending, physical, even passing. Apart from Fika Kakasi, you can ignore that. It's very, very good all-round. Um, he's just a, a really, like, steady beast card. And I've seen a lot of people play him at centre-back. And for that reason, he's good value because you can play him left-back or centre-back for the price. And I think he is very, very good value. Next up is Sojek who you probably know where this one's going. I've seen a lot of people say, how is this guy only 80k? And I agree. Three star, three star, which is fine on a CDM. Um, maybe if you were putting him centre mid, it'd be a bit dodgy. You might want a four star weak foot or some skill moves, but you probably wouldn't even be able to do skill moves. He hasn't got the pace, a bit like Rodri, but for set, set 80k for this 91 Prem team a season, with those defending, those physical, good passing, um, dribbling, he hasn't got the agility or balance, which isn't ideal. But he's only 80k, which uh, allows you to put him in to good value. Um, because I think I feel like 80k for Sochek is better than spending all the time going for Rodri. I don't know, maybe Rodri's got better links, but you know you can decide that one. And then final one of the video, been talking for literally like 12, 13 minutes here. Um, we've got Jamie Vardy, who is one that isn't spoken about a lot, and you can kind of tell why. Three star, three star isn't ideal but obviously pretty much maxed out shooting you can forget the long shots because he's just going to be in the box isn't he little fox in the box for jamie vardy from leicester there and um yeah pace he's rapid agility and balance is a bit low with the three star three star you ain't going to be able to pull pull some skill moves and passing is a bit weird as well like he's got good short passing really bad long passing okay vision okay cross it crossing he's just he is just pace and shoot if you can get it in the box to him or on the last man, so we can just run around and maybe a finesse shot or a chip. He'll score it, but apart from that, he can't really skill and he can't really uh, pass too well. So um, for Jamie Vardy, I think we're going to have to chuck him into decent. And it might might be a bit, a bit harsh, but he is just sort of like a quick shooter. Uh, nothing else to him, really. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you agree with them. That is the Premier League team season ranked. Um, if you want me to do any of these... Again, as in the next league that comes out, we could do the Saudi tots if you wanted me to. I don't know how 
um, how many people would want that to be honest but um, yeah I think that's it for this video if you did enjoy please do smash a like on the video helps out more than you could think and yeah subscribe and you